Hey guys, it's Jenny. If you wanna see how I print out all my book covers for my reading tracker and my review book, etc., keep watching. A couple reasons for doing this is one, I have a lot of books. I have a lot of books that are both on um, my Kindle as well as in my regular life. And even though they stare at me every day from my bookshelf, I honestly forget that they're there and I'm actually more likely <laughs> to see them in my to be read pile, which is in my reading log. So I am currently in Figma. These white rectangles that you see are called frames and we can create a new one by hitting F for frame, kind of drawing a, drawing a shape, doesn't really matter. And then over here, layout, we can change the dimensions to 2446 pixels by 3169 pixels. This is the same size as an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper times four. So we're gonna have a really high resolution print. And I don't know if it's super necessary, but it's something that I care deeply about. I wanna make sure that we have the most high resolution thing possible. First, I'm gonna to go to my browser and download some of these books. Within your browser, you can just search for the book cover itself check the images and see which one you want to pull in. I recommend using the one with the highest resolution possible. So for Pashinko, while I really like this cover and this cover, this is the one that I read. So I'm just going to click on this and then just right click and then save image to the desktop. And then we're going to keep doing this for each book. Unfortunately, there is no good way to scrape book covers from the internet because that is like kind of illegal, I think. I tried to do it with ChatGPT and it was like, I can't do this for you without creating like a really complicated uh, script or something. Python? I don't really know. Um, I like to call myself a geek, but I really don't know much beyond that. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll come back into Figma. So I have now downloaded all the books onto my desktop and I'm going to drag it into my Figma and I'm going to drop them over to the side of my frame. Click and drag a box around them so that they're all selected and you'll notice that you don't have to select the whole book in order for them to be selected. So once they have the blue box around them, you're all set. And then I'm going to resize them all so that they're 300 pixels wide. In terms of inches, they are one inch wide, which I think works really well. Dimensions, width you'll see is mixed because they're all different widths right now, but if you type in 300 and hit enter, then you'll see they're all now the same width. They're all scattered. We want them kind of in a nice little stack so you can, with them all selected still, hit alignment left and then alignment top, and they're all in this really nice, neat little stack. Now I'm going to kind of just move the whole stack down here so I can work with it closer to so you can see what's going on. And if you, there, there we go. Click over to file and then you'll see all the list of your titles. Now you're not gonna see which one you're really on because of the way that they're named. So just grab seven. We wanna grab seven layers or book covers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you hold down shift and then click, then you have a stack of seven selected that you can just now drag down here. Now, because of math, <laughs> we're going to move one of these over by 1800 pixels, which will give us a nice row of seven position, whatever it says, just add in the X position, add 1800 pixels and hit enter. So we're going to select our stack of seven with one all the way over here and then go to this little grid icon and say distribute horizontal spacing. And there is our nice row of seven. I'm going to align them all to the bottom just to prevent a little bit of extra cutting that I might have to do. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to click the stack over here that is not on our sheet of paper and then count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold down shift and click again. And then I'm gonna drag them down here. And you'll see when they're aligned, when you see those red lines pop up, um, 
you can see if you zoom in really far and have all these selected that you'll see those red lines show when they're all perfectly in line with one another. So if you zoom in really far, it's like very pixel perfect here. We're gonna do the same thing again where we choose the top one and see where it says X, position X is 173. So we're just gonna do 1800 again. And then grab this whole row and then go to more actions, distribute horizontal spacing. Now at this point, you'll see that they're all lined up in this single line here, but they're kind of jagged on the bottom and top, but that's okay because when we go to print it out, it's easier to cut it out that way, or at least that's how I perceive it. <laughs> it really, whatever works for you. And then at this stack, we only have six. So this is a, this is a kind of a good demonstration. Um, I'm just gonna grab all six and bring them down here. And then instead of 1800, we're gonna do, oops, pick the top one and then do plus 1500 since it's only six. I'm sorry there's so much math, but um, I hope it makes sense. All right, so then at this point, I'm gonna distribute horizontal spacing. And now I have a row of six books that I can be ready to print out. In order to print this out is select the frame by hovering over it here and you'll see it completely selected. You can also go to your layers panel and, and just click whatever one you wanted to export, which means get it ready to print. Once we have our frame selected, go over to the right. At the very bottom, you'll see export, scroll down. We're gonna export as a PDF and one X is totally fine. And then you'll see this little button that doesn't really look like a button, but I swear is a button. Hit that export and then you can save it to wherever. I usually just save it to my desktop because it's easier. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna open my print utility and I do want my full print utility, not just like the default print settings. Um, we're gonna do a document print and I'm gonna just drag this guy over here. Go to print, opens this dialog box. Printing color, yes, double-sided is irrelevant. I'm gonna fill the entire paper. And then media quality, we're gonna drop that down. We're gonna feed from the rear tray because that's where my sticker paper is gonna be. And then quality, we're gonna do best. And that is it. So I'm gonna hit print. Well, that was fast. Yay, tiny book covers. Are we in frame? Okay, so <laughs> slicing and dicing. Remember how I lined these up so they all fit along this line? That is so we only need to slice it once to have one edge completely done with one slice. Did I, does that make sense? Probably not. Yay. Put the blade away. Boom. Yay for extra clips hanging around. I love how that looks. It just makes me so happy. Sorry, there's so much shaking. But yeah, I'm gonna finish cutting these little book covers out with just scissors because sometimes it's just easier. One more thing that I wanted to mention is that in order not to waste so much paper, what I would do here is just take a pencil and um, make a mark where I could print from next time. So if I just wanted to do one or two rows of books, I could just use the rest of this paper and feed it into my printer from the top. Yay. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time.